gonna take you on a quick homestead tour today. Check on the goats, harvest some butternut squash, check on the ducks. The Nubians are separated out from the other goats. There's Flopsy, laying in the sun. We're borrowing a Nigerian dwarf buck named Chewy to breed our goats. But we just found out that a friend of ours actually got a Nubian buck. These are our Nubians, they're larger goats. So we're actually gonna breed the Nubians to the Nubian buck. The rest of the goats are out past this big tobacco barn. Goats resting in the shade, <laughs> chewing their cud. How are you doing, Coco? You're a sweet goat. And here's Chewy. What are you doing out here, buddy? You smell strong. Chewy is never at rest, even when he's sitting still. <laughs> he's panting and breathing hard. I've never really seen an animal that has such an intensity to his personality and his focus. Here, do you want to give this to the chickens? You got to bring it all the way out and give it to them in their cage. Come on, nope. <laughs> the reason we're giving them a snack is chicky, 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 chicky. Come out, sir. Come out now. You got to wash your feet now. Come on out. Hey, that's, come on. That's not safe. Let's go. You are so happy, aren't you? You're such happy puppies. Such happy puppies. I forgot to check for eggs while I was down here at the barn. They're not using my nesting boxes over here. They're just laying up in this old little manger that's nice and clean. And so all the eggs end up being real clean. Our fig tree that completely froze back this winter actually has quite a bit of fruit on it. The big question is, will we get fruit before the fruit freezes. We actually had a frost the last two mornings and some of the plants are showing it. We haven't had a hard freeze yet, but it's definitely time to get the last of the harvest in from the garden, the harvest that can't take a freeze. Do you love the puppies? Do you love the puppies? Sweet puppies. Are you being nice to the puppies? Be gentle. Good boy. Oh, don't bite. Are you going to try to pick up that dog? Oh my goodness, you're so strong. Good job, just get the worst of it out. You can see these flowers have been hit by the frost this morning and they're wilting. But our fall garden crops look great and that's why we plant these types of plants in the fall because they'll do great through the frosts and even into the very cold weather of winter. I think that's broccoli or cabbage, I don't remember. And carrots, this is Grace's row down here. Transitioning into kale and turnips. Here's the butternut squash up by the chickens and the kids are already picking them up. These are two funny looking butternut squash here and I think they might have crossed with tromboncini because they have such long necks. So we'll see how they keep when they eat them first. You got one buddy? Don't drop it, be gentle and set it down gently. We want them to last a long time. Perfect. When you're harvesting butternut squash, ideally you will cut the stem and they're very tough, so a pair of um, loppers or like garden shears would honestly be ideal for this. 
but you want to cut it off and leave a little stem. If you break them off here, you actually can have a source of rot and breakdown on the butternut squash. Who can be my biggest one? You got the biggest one. Great job. You got the smallest one. Let me see it. We're still big enough to eat. Right. As you know, if you've watched our channel for a while, we love butternut squash for a few reasons. One, we love eating it. But another thing is it's probably the easiest food to grow in your garden and store all the way through the winter. We actually still have a handful of butternut squash in our kitchen, in the pantry, that are from a full year ago. And they're still sound and firm. While the kids are getting squash, I'm gonna run up here and show you these baby ducks. Several of you have requested that we show you how big the ducks are. So here's the ducks. For a size comparison, there's their daddy. Their dad's out front, and then here's the babies. And you can tell they're molting because they're not a nice even brown color. They have a lot of white on them and they're losing feathers. We're, these are buff ducks and we're really happy with them. Not only did the mother duck hatch out a really beautiful group of babies this year, they're great layers and they're just really fun to watch. Um, very cool birds. I have to say, it is a beautiful day out here. And this is a beautiful load of butternut squash. All of this butternut squash was grown in an area, it's about 25 feet by mm, 14 feet. And that's at least 100 pounds of butternut squash. I'm gonna have to leave all that squash right here by the porch because supper time is soon and I need to turn my attention to making some food. Bree and our daughter Grace are at the grocery and she asked me to start some chicken and peel some potatoes for mashed potatoes. Welcome home. Thank you. We got really good meat and cheese from the Amish store. Did you see all the butternut squash? Yes, it's beautiful. Here, there's no marshmallows in there. I found a buck for our Nubians, so they're all separated. We have Nubian babies. Now there's just one thing missing from our meal, and that's something green. And for that, I don't have to go very far. I know right where to find something green in the garden. So I'm just gonna thin out these turnip greens with some kitchen scissors. We need to thin the turnips anyway, and turnip greens are delicious. Thank y'all very much for watching our channel and supporting us. If you would, just give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell us how your fall gardens are going if you have one. And we'll see you next week. That was another great day on the homestead next week, maybe even sooner. Mm -hmm.